What does this print test tell us about the properties of filaments printed at different temperatures and flow rates? It was inspired by a recent video by Stefano CNC Kitchen, where Benchy print failures led him to test how different materials behave across a range of extrusions and speeds. Which got me to thinking, the 3D print mill is a much better test platform for this. The angled nozzle offers a unique window through which to view extrusion at the margins. Combined with the continuous belt output, we get a much more controlled environment for experimentation. So, like a clever monkey, I hand-rolled some G-code and came up with this test. Let me explain. The belt in this test moves left to right, meaning we need to read this right to left. Each column represents a temperature. Lower temperatures are on the right, higher on the left. And each row represents a flow rate, lower extrusion rate on the top to faster on the bottom. I ran quite a few print tests and want to share what I learned and what I'm hypothesizing. First, we need to learn how to read the samples. Each extrusion is 20 millimeters of active extrusion, followed by 10 millimeters of coasting. And each extrusion is the same volume of filament. The tail represents latent pressure in the Bowden tube and heated chamber when the extruder drive stops. When you don't have attractions to reduce pressure, this results in stringing in your prints. Let's look at what happens when you push extrusion to the limits. As filament moves through the hot end, it pulls heat out. At some point, the filament draws more heat out than the heater cartridge is putting in. And at this point, the flow rate slows and the filament begins to create pressure in the Bowden tube. This additional pressure on the Bowden tube walls also creates friction, which further reduces the flow rate. You would think that increasing the temperature of the hot end would solve this, and it does to a very limited degree. But here we see artifacts begin to form at higher temperatures. And if we zoom out, we see that the artifacts creep into the slower extrusion rates too. So what's going on here? Grade school physics teaches us that temperature and pressure are interchangeable in gases. This isn't exactly a gas, but I'm guessing filaments release gases that do react. And in fact, every filament I tested showed some effect like this once you approach the upper temperature rating listed on the spool. My takeaways from this are the following. The temperature ratings in the spools are meaningful guides. Pushing extrusion rates can mimic higher temperatures, which can push you into a regime where filaments react poorly. Missing entirely from this is the role firmwares have in managing nozzle pressure and temperature. While pressure management is mostly solved, temperature management is largely overlooked. For the case of highly dynamic systems, PID temperature management is insufficient. I hope you found this interesting. I look forward to your comments, feedback, and suggestions.